What's up, guys? Hey, I want to address this thing with Miami. If you haven't heard, witnesses are claiming that that supposed fight between teenagers where 100 cops and black choppers in the airport got shut down in Miami, witnesses are saying that it was Sasquatch. They were giant gray ones, and they were, listen to this, eyewitnesses that I have no idea who these people are, are saying these creatures were walking through the mall peacefully, passively, changing colors as they went with the light spectrums that were hitting them, almost blending in. One witness is saying uh, that they were passive and that it was people who went nuts. And the entire thing erupted into this whole chaos and the airport ended up getting shut down. But what we're dealing with, according to actual boots on the ground eyewitnesses, are the acromatons that crypto reality has been studying. Let me explain something to you. The further south you go, the further south you go, the higher the salinity level will be because sea level continues to drop. We are, I think, witnessing the very first exodus from the swamps of South Florida. If these little situations like this continue and continue over the next 12 months to 5 years, Moving northward where we're having these instances on the fringes of areas where businesses are being attacked, where suddenly it was it was people rioting. Like people were running from creatures. It was all over the place. And then videos started being taken down. Police scanners were listened to by many different individuals who heard gunshots and police talking about giant eight to ten foot creatures. Gray, achromatic blending in weird stuff. And all of this stuff is being, had a lid put on it. This is where we're at with the tech now. You can't say anything. So what do we really know? What we know is witnesses are coming forward saying eight to 10 foot creatures. The videos are being removed. Stuff has been clamped down. There are stories now about people's phones being blanked um, who are communicating directly as eyewitnesses to what was going on. Um, 100 cop cars, you know, I don't know, man, who knows, 25 cop cars, I don't know, I didn't take the time to count, but a ridiculous situation where the airport needs to be shut down, over what, a couple of teenagers, 20 teenagers having a fight, not even happening, bro, not even happening, I will tell you what they would shut the airport down for, though, the displacement of the wild hominoid giants, right, and and now, it's all like choppers and all this, right, 2 o'clock in the morning, uh, member Matthew sends me sends me text messages. This is how I was like I was working, and then bam, I get these text messages last night. I didn't even know what was going on, but apparently, people are crying and screaming cover up, and there's hominoids involved. Now the narrative continues to change with strange videos, and I think that's a bunch of bullshit. I think as time goes on through our communities, these stories are going to start spreading eventually. It's going to create a little bit of a rush down here. So you keep watching because like I said, that aquifer's going to be tainted. And is this the beginning of it? Miami is at the lowest point besides the Keys in, in South Florida. And the aquifer is obviously tainted. Keep watching, guys. There's going to be a bunch of stuff going on here in the state of Florida. This is, this is going to be ground zero in the United States for hominoid realization. 101. Mark my words. I've been saying it. Everybody called me crazy a couple weeks ago, but I'm telling you, there's something going on here when eyewitnesses are describing, ex I'm talking about the exact science that crypto reality deals with is what eyewitnesses are describing walking through that mall. That's mathematically ridiculously impossible unless it happened. Wouldn't you say?